generic greetings and welcome to the prison that is rough, very rough. In the previous episode we escaped-ish. Uh, the first two attempts did not go overly well for various reasons. The third attempt we did win because we did get three people out but the person we came in with um, we didn't get out which you know a couple of people were a bit uh, disheartened about but we got a featherstone out so it sort of makes up for it. Either way this is the episode where we essentially make the prison go to hell. Not that it wasn't ha halfway there anyway it was already uh, halfway across the river but Here's the thing, we have done our usual uh, changing of regime so it is just yard time. Uh, our policy is set to no punishments and no searching of anything once uh, these things happen. Meal quantity and variety is set to low. There are no staff breaks now so all of the guards are going to get pissed off which in turn makes it pretty much worse for everybody because they will not, not want to do things properly, they'll be a bit sloppy, things like that. Uh, I have also got rid of all programs and let's see how it goes. Obviously I've fired all of the armed guards because then that won't have any suppression effect. We do still have the snipers so I don't know how this is going to go. I think the... I don't know if the snipers actually get a suppression effect. You can see we've got lots of prisons have serious complaints. Uh, 48 prisons are suppressed compliant and that should drop off fairly quickly if the snipers don't have a suppression effect. If they do have a suppression effect, then these guys are never going to properly riot. They might have the odd fight now and again, but they're not going to riot. And what we'll have to do is get rid of the snipers and then see how it goes. Now, you can see the danger level is going up, and that's to be expected because the warmth need mainly they are outside it is raining as you can see it's seven degrees so it's actually quite okay it's not too bad at all even though it's winter um but it is raining it's quite quite warm actually for this season but yeah it's uh going to get to a real crisis point and then as soon as the 46 prison well all of the prisons pretty much almost all of them as soon as that suppression effect is removed the whole thing will Im immediately riot like that it'll just kick straight off which is what we're looking for and i would assume that these snipers can only kill so many before they get ripped out of their towers and beaten over the head there's a featherstone up yay um however i think that the snipers and the guys with tasers around here, I reckon they'll be able to take care of business. I reckon they'll be able to stop this riot quite fast because you've got six snipers with decent line of sight. Uh, they can pretty much take down six prisoners every couple of seconds. We've got a couple of people, uh, a couple of guards with tasers in the security area here, as well as dog patrols around the place and other um, assorted movements of guards. So I don't think this is going to go overly well for the prisoners but we'll see how it goes today's be beverage is uh, pink grapefruit and there was one little taser moment they had going off um, it is almost uh, it's just eight o'clock now so it looks like prisons are suppressed compliant see how far this goes check their needs there you go, there's one dead, two dead, and their hands are up, but it says they're still suppressed. 49 are suppressed now, so maybe there must be, the, the snipe rifles must have a suppression effect then. They must have a suppression effect. One would think, because that's went up now, has it? Hmm, let's just check the needs again. So blood and need is maxed out, or getting there, for most of the prisoners. Bowels, not so much because, as you can see, actually that's interesting. It's all green everywhere. I don't know why. Um, sleep and food. Uh, I don't know why there's not a critical need there. Safety is up. It's interesting. Hygiene is going down. Warmth, as you can see, is critical for every single prisoner because it is minus three degrees C, and they are outside. <laughs> yeah, so they don't have much warmth. Forty-eight prisoners suppressed. Uh, we've got some clothing needs, some other needs as well. Staff needs, as you can see, there's a food stuff there, and this will slowly rise up as well because they, they've got no they've got no break time, so that's going to get even worse. In fact, you can look at them and just say pissed off for pretty much every guard. Yeah. So, three o'clock in the morning, it looks like the sniper rifles are having an effect. If I just fire these two, then people might come to take their place. So if I have to get rid of if I have to get rid of these snipers, I'm going to have to get rid of all of them. There's another bit of fight in there, as you can see. 
So they're not going to kick off. It's not going to happen. It's been almost a full day since they were here. The armed um, guards. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, whatever it was. Uh, it should be six in total. Yeah, it's just six because we haven't put the guard towers in here in the corners. So I've got rid of those. They're, they're gone now. And we'll just wait until that suppression effect's removed. As soon as it's removed, all these prisoners are going to go. It's just going to be a switch from slightly annoyed to gone. <laughs> I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm going to go. And then it'll just, it'll just ride. And whether or not they take stuff over is, well, we'll really up for... Really, it's really anyone's guess, really, what they're going to take over. They do tend to be quite... Oh, hang on. Yeah, they do tend to be quite... Um, random in their approach to prison riots. Sometimes they will go around and take over the entire facility. Sometimes they'll try and escape. Sometimes they'll just jump up and down and start beating other things up. It's uh, quite random in that sense. But anyway. So, danger level, still high. A bit more tears are going off there. Because the danger level is so high, and all of these prisons are very, very vexed. As soon as that suppression goes, they'll all kick off. And one would hope that it's all going to disappear in one go. Um, looks like we've got a couple of people. Looks like Casper Gray's trying to fight. There's a tunnel found there. That could be legit, you know, that one. That tunnel could be legit. Let's search that cell. Most, More than likely, that is legit, you know, that one. Um, I'm going to dismantle the toilet because I reckon that's legit. Bit more fighting there in the infirmary. Well, apparently it wasn't legit, unless it was this one. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not going to put it back. We'll see. We'll see what happens when they come along. See if they detect another one. It's just because it was right in line with this toilet, and this toilet is the closest to the edge. So, I would have thought that that would have been it. No, it looks like that. Oh, I don't know if the dog went back. Ah, yeah, I think the dog got to out here and then decided that it needs a break, so it's not going to finish its patrol route, which is how you can actually get gaps in your patrol routes. Come on, guys. Come on. I mean, it's still... It's still kicking off in places. The problem now is that a lot of, a lot of prisoners are... Well, there's a couple of prisoners that have been split off to the infirmary. I'm just going to put this toilet back. Might as well. And there's a lot of prisoners being split off to the infirmary. And there we go. That's the suppression effect being removed. No, it hasn't. They're just writing anywhere. A lot have been split off to the infirmary, and several of them have already been injured. So they are fighting. It looks like that's actually a gang fight. Yeah, gangs are fighting other gangs. <laughs> Okay, right, that's that's something I have seen before, but it still says 20-odd 20 pri prisoners are rioting, and I'll be honest, right, the gangs have pretty much taken each other out. Twenty-three deaths so far. There's all of the gangs fighting. I don't know... Is that still a gang fight or not? Have the have the gangs taken out other members of the gangs and are now now that's right. See that is riding there. That's proper rides. Okay, let me just pause a second. Go to intelligence gangs. Ah, yeah, look, the red gang has pretty much culled green and blue. So it looks like as soon as it kicked off, that's what they've went for, and now they're going to. Uh, Start taking things over. There's still suppression effect, but it doesn't seem to be doing much. Um, looks like there's a toilet in the middle of the hallway as well, for whatever reason. Uh, that dog's also tired. I don't think it's going to last long there. Um, are they actually trying to hit the dog? No, I don't think they are. It's still 18 prisoners rioting, and the reason for that is um, actually a lot of them are dead. <laughs> like, say, 31 of them. Over half the gang members in here. Oh, sorry, over half the... Uh, Prisoners have actually been killed. Or, or uh, well, killed or are unconscious now. I think we're going to be able to put the gang, uh, the, the fight down, to be honest with you. I don't think it's going to go much further than this. Oh my god, look at all that. That's crazy. I'm going to go to intake and just say all available. And just receive 
um, as much as I can. It's still fighting. It's still fighting. It's still technically a riot here. And there's the CEO. Um, your prison's out of control. Put the right down on the government will be forced to step in. Oh, okay. Well, I could if I wanted to. Um, bring in the riot gear. Looks like they've taken control of the shower. Oh, and they're taking control of this bottom bit. I could bring in the guys with riot gear and um, stop this, but honestly, I think we want to see the uh, the national the arm the arm guards come in the uh, the national guard. Is it national guard? Either way, you can see riots sort of work. They've managed to take over the showers and then this section here. Some of them have tried to escape and now a lot of the danger level is on zero. Mainly because there's no one to, no prisoners to sort this out uh, to, to make it go any higher. You can see some of them have got, they're holding like vials of drugs. Yeah, they've got some sort of got drugs there. These guys are fighting each other. Look, gang members. Oh, the gang members are systematically going around and taking everybody out that isn't a gang member. Yeah, that's a, I think that's what's happening. If we go over to intelligence again, gangs. Yeah. Oh, actually green members being, green gangs being completely wiped out and red's gone right down as well. A lot of that will be to do with the guards. I said the guards. There's only seven guards left. Um, no dog handlers. Or oh, four dog handlers. Seven guards. But um, to be honest with you, whatever's left here is... <laughs> well, it's not going to take long. 45 people dead. And um, three, two, one. Fairly stayed. Fail to control. The government has revoked prison contract. Now sending in the National Guard. Go, go, go. You see the trucks that come along and then they all jump off at the start. So right is still in the way. Five prisoners are rioting, but it's not going to take them long because they're going to come in and any, any member that is still standing or even any member that's on the ground that has um, been knocked out or whatever, they're just going to shoot because they are, well, we'll see. We'll see how, um, how much they care. Hi, guys. No, they're just they're standing. They're not even using the guns. Let me pick up that page. That's an interesting one. They're not firing. Them guys are riding right next to them, and they're not firing. I spoke too soon. He's down. These ones aren't. I don't know why. Where are they going now? Are they going to go down here? Yes, they are. So, there's only him that's rioting. He's controlling the entire block, and he's not going to last long. I see. Looks like there was some firing in the shower or something. Um. Well, there's a couple of shots being fired. But that's it. Oh, uh, then we've got a little bit of an intake here. Because <coughs> they did set it to 100. Oh my god! What's happening? Why is on this side? Why is the loads of like, National Guard trucks come along, and then they've all ran off. And then these these guys are stuck with this 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 person still writing. This is, um... Alpine Mafu 022180. Still writing in the shower. These soldiers are, have got no intention of stopping him. By the look of it. Um... <laughs> can I just say punish lockdown? Well, no one's going to come to stop him because I don't think there's any guards. I don't. Have, I don't really have control of the prison anymore. I mean, I think that's. I think that's a fairly obvious statement. I don't have control of the prison anymore. He says. <laughs> hmm, and that's quite a big intake there. Yeah, that's glitched out again. No, they're not not finishing that off. Either way, that is a little bit of the old uh, ultra violence there. It's um, I knew it wasn't going to be a massive event because. The suppression effect, I knew the suppression effect was going to be there. I knew I'd have to get rid of all of the things that made this prison deadly in the first place, which is all of the armed guards and snipers walking around the place and in the towers. Getting rid of those, all that did was put this into a real horrible state where it was built to 
use, well, it was built to utilize the armed guards and the snipers. Removing them meant that you've now got a prison that is not that, well, it's very, quite small. Um, only a couple of routes, well, only one really route to the exit. Fairly straight path as well. It's only a couple of doors you, can, you have to go through. And um, not much to stop them, really. Bearing in mind also that this is full of um, gang members. <laughs> All which have um, traits like... Uh, oh, well, most of them have traits of dead at the moment, but uh, you get the you get the idea that they're all gang members. They're all quite swole and uh, angry and whatnot. So yeah, either way, that has been a bit of a test, artificial one of this facility. I still think it is one of the better facilities, even though it doesn't make any money. It's the most interesting. If I were to go ahead and do another series of this um, in the near future or whenever, I would certainly do another prison where it is about guard towers and armed guards walking around but I would probably do it on a medium sized map and have two of these so it would be a lot bigger and we would have like what, what, what I would actually do I'd have like a, a square and then only one way in and then all the way around would be your um, your cells in fact I would have it probably quite small and then uh, the doctor's calling hang on hang on uh, and I would have it so that the sniper tower was in the middle of that, so you would have essentially line of sight to all of the, all of the, um, all of the cells. That's probably the way I'd do it. Uh, getting reports of food poisoning. Um, to be honest, to be honest, um, I I think that's the least of my problems. Oh yeah, all these guys are food poisoned. Um, yeah, I think that's the least of my problems. Either way, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings. <laughs>